in its uh, theory, rather, not the research, the theory. Theory in its true sense, that is nothing but uh, making the generalization and from the fact itself, as because you see the from the fact itself, so we are going to hypothesize or rather we are going to uh, postulate, not predict rather, postulates as what would be the future aspect and how the sub-concepts or the concepts on the chain can be rationally interpreted with the help of one postulate or rather one prescription. Uh, that is the basic purpose of theory. And regarding theory for the empirical research or for the field research, whenever we are dealing with the raw data collected from the field, we cannot go for any kind of theoretization as because this is a kind of quantitative survey and in quantitative survey we always or quantitative analysis we always try to try to represent the result with the annotations from us or from our inside we try to predict some kind of relationship between the data and the existing knowledge and then we represent that one as the propositions, not you can say that one, these are the premises or these are the postulates. So this is the empirical research. But in theoretical research, we or rather in the develop, in the process of development of the theory, we try to identify each and every contents or each and every composite elements therein and the amalgamation of or aggregation of all the ideas, all the properties together. And from that property, we try to develop one core property or rather one core premises or one core, I won't say that one that is a postulate right now. We try to develop or we try to make one generalized idea by which we can cover up the activities, the properties, the actions of each and every subcomponents therein. So this is rather the concept of the theory. So as for example, I think uh, all of both of you know that one that is the theory of theory of integrative level, as well as you know that one the very term that is the absolute syntax. One is the absolute syntax, another one is the theory of integrative level. So theory of integrative level, this particular one and the absolute syntax, this absolute syntax is something where you can say that one, you reach to that echelon or that height or rather you can say that one, you are rather in the zenith of your work and from that perspective you are seeing that one, you are saying, you are developing a syntax, you are developing a proposition, you are developing one postulate by which all the sub-components, sub-ideas or whatever the different agents, sub-agents therein within the division. The actions, properties, characteristics of all such things can be covered up with that generalized statement. And that is what is known as theory. So in research, theory formation is important, but theory formation is troublesome thing too. And why it is troublesome thing? You will get that one in the subsequent slides. So this is what you see, that is the explanation. They are saying that one, that an explanation. That is, it allows you to go beyond the known facts, suggesting what you might expect in the future and allowing you to organize the facts you already have. If this is the theory, then you can say that one, this is the explanation of the existing fact, known fact, 
but it is not only the known fact it is rather expecting something more that can that can be included or that can even that that may get included on those corpus of the facts and it helps you to arrange that one organize that one the existing facts and at the same time it helps you to put those newly developed concepts or newly evolved concepts or rather the unexplored contents unexplored ideas into its own position with the help of the proposition itself with the help of the postulate itself that is the perspective of the theory as for example you know and here the last line is very important that is what suggesting what you might expect in future and the another pertinent one pertinent pertinent concept is it allows us to go beyond the known facts this is what beyond the known facts means whenever you are doing one empirical study you are just analyzing the known facts you are just analyzing the known facts you are going to the field itself you are collecting the raw material and once you collected the raw material you are arranging that one the raw materials in a scientific order in a specific order and then hello ha 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 good take it yes obviously you go for it take a chatai bhali কোনো দরকার নেই তুই এস আর এর ভালো দেখে একটা আমি তোকে বলে দিচ্ছি তুই আগে টাকাটা পা ধরপড় করার দরকার নয় ও তো ক্রেডিট কার্ডে পেমেন্ট করলে সাত দিন পরে আসবে হুম ঠিক আছে ইটস ওকে হ্যাঁ তাহলে ঠিক আছে আর ওটা 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 সাত দিনের মধ্যে ঢুকে যাবে ঠিক ক্রেডিট কার্ডে সুবিধা আছে ডেবিট কার্ড হলে একুশ দিন লাগত হুম তো ক্রেডিট কার্ডে সাত দিন সুবিধে তাহলে আমি কালকেই বলে দিচ্ছি আমি আজকে এখন একটুখানি ক্লাসটা কমপ্লিট করে পিএইচডি ক্লাসটা আমি তারপর তোকে বলে দিচ্ছি কোনটা নিতে হবে হুম আচ্ছা রিলায়েন্সে তুই দেখেছিস আর কোনো মডেল এক্সিস্টিং আছে আচ্ছা না তাহলে পরে বা দরকার হলে তুই অনলাইনে কেন ঠিক আছে সেটা আমি দেখছি হুম ঠিক আছে ওকে সো সামথিং ওকে দ্যাট ওয়াজ হোয়াট আই ওয়াজ সেইং ইউ দ্যাট ইজ আ বিয়ন্ড দ্য নোন ফ্যাক্টস সো ওকে i was saying that one that is uh, whenever we are doing any kind of empirical research or anywhere we go to the field we collect raw data and from the raw data what we say you know we infer something that is this particular data represents this but why this is the cause of this data and why uh, we already made one hypothesis and we are trying to justify that one on the basis of the hypothesis that is what hypothesis we drawn and we drawn previously and what the result is reflecting and we are trying to find out one pattern there to match the pattern whether these are in the line of our hypothesis or rather this is going contrary to our hypothesis this is what we are doing but this is not actually going beyond the fact known fact now going beyond the known fact you will understand that one so whenever stephen hawking is talking about um, the theory like big bang theory or rather um, the physicists are talking about the god's particles or rather 
the large hadron collider so large hadron collider is rather one the manifestation of that project but whenever we are talking about that very idea like that is e is equal to mc square or uh, the light uh, travels faster than sound and light is having this one now you will see you will understand that one no one no one in the world is having the capability to measure that one in case of sound it my you, you can do this thing but in case of light so no such kind of empirical study can be mimicked in any lab to measure such kind of things as for example the black hole the concept of black hole you cannot create black hole but you can rationalize the idea you can you can say that or now see this is what we are having the celestial bodies in the universe and we know that one they are moving and they are moving and they have their own orbit and in their orbital axis they are moving but at the same time by 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 analyzing this one and that's why the astronomy is rather a kind of uh, such a um, kind of you can see uh, subject of regard because it always go it always goes beyond of the known facts and it tries to say something more more and it is trying to say that one that is what can be the future and how what is rather coming so this is what this is not only this is not the empirical analysis and that sense that is what we see is what we get this is something more so in this case whenever we are talking about a kind of theory like you see each and every action is having its same and opposite reaction now the concept is just saying this very thing lot of times were spent for empirical research and ultimately one individual came with that very idea and till date you will see that one that thing is valid so this is what this is going beyond the known fact what you might expect in future and that is what is the basic proposition of the theory so you have to develop a particular postulate you have to develop one umbrella like postulate or umbrella umbrella like concept which can cover up all the sub concepts they are in their activities their characteristics and every incidents that are happening within that body of ideas so this is rather the very concept of theory and regarding theory you know uh, these are rather uh, the perspectives of the theory and different types of theory formulation how you can go for that one that is the one is obviously the focal research now focal research is something that is what you actually do what you actually do may not be the true thing you are actually doing that is a paradox okay what is a paradox the thing you usually do may not be the actual thing you are doing now can any one of you tell me that one what does this paradox mean or do you have any idea of uh, what's there within this paradox that is what what i'm saying that is a focal research whenever we are talking about focal research so we are talking about that one that is the the perspective of research it is not the research itself that is perspective of research so that is what what i am saying what you are doing is uh, actually is, it may not be the thing you are actually doing so this is what this is now see um, suppose you are you are you are you are doing one research like uh, information seeking behavior of a group of people okay now first and foremost thing is that whenever you already suppose you already have your population identified population you already have your uh, mathematical sample and at the same time you have already the methodology 
and you know that one how to do that one you made the schedule or questionnaire and you got the responses you counted that one analyze that one with the statistical um, software or rather statistics interpreted that one with your intuit and made a conclusion and gave the references your research is complete so this is what is the formal way of doing research but there is one perspective so suppose you did this one and you submitted your research to the university and then after two three four months you have to face the interview suppose both of the both rather in our university we are having the of that is a double um, evaluatorship so double evaluation mode so suppose both the both the evaluators are saying that it's okay research is uh, fine so this um, work can be regarded as a doctoral thesis and he or she um, may be interviewed so now it usually happens that those who evaluated the thesis though uh, none of those individual usually go for the uh, usually come for the interview suppose the third fellow came for the interview and or rather not the third fellow even for the article also the same thing and he asked you he or she asked you first thing that is what is the significance of this study what is the social significance of this study i do not want to know what you already did i do not want to know how you did i do not want to know all the ways you used for this one but just let me know that one that is what is the focal theme of your research this can it be generalized in the perspective of the society that is this research what is the social significance of this research this research whenever you you will get the phd how this phd or the output your 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 generalized views conclusions and the final final findings findings will help the society and there comes the very concept of focal research now you see and once you are being asked like that one you are you are rather been in a trouble trouble in what sense this particular portion is not having any relationship with the work you did but you have to find that one you have to think that one in a broader perspective that is the place of your research findings in the global research scenario or rather the societal research how this particular research fits there and that is what is the focal research and here comes the point of theory because it now it is asking you whether it is a socially positive social that is a positivist theory or rather it is some kind of um you see the conservative theory or rather it is some kind of cognitive one or it is something so this is what you whatever you are doing you just can't deny the very presence of the theory at the back end so you have to justify your work with the help of one setup social setup where some established theories are there and your research must fit with those existing theories or you may you may go for developing a subset of theories or sub theories based on some bit of social theories and that is what is the focal perspective of research the focal research and measurement the process of devising strategies for classifying the subjects by categories to represent the variable concept this is the measurement so in focal research how you are measuring the thing or rather whenever you are choosing the sample whether that samples are chosen based on some theoretical proposition or not or rather you are doing there is not a kind of even if you go for the snowball sampling 
even if you go for the quota sampling, even if you are going for the cluster sampling or rather the purposive sampling, so measurement is always being supported by some bit of mathematical prescriptions or rather statistical prescriptions. So you see there is a relationship between the theoretical perspective and research. Deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is obviously a part of theory that is inductive and deductive. Both are rather the part of uh, philosophy and you know that one the theory is nothing but a kind of manifestation of uh, you can say the concrete manifestation of philosophy. A concrete manifestation if you if you think about Ranganathan because Ranganathan is very much famous for these these two concepts that is con abstract and concrete. So whenever he is actually saying that one something in seminar level he is always talking about the conceptual one or rather the abstract and whenever he is saying that one on the ground level which can be which can be interpreted, which can be conceived, the idea of which can be conceived, which can be touched, which can be seen, which can be which can be predicted, or which can have a body of ideas which you can visualize, you will know that one. That is the concrete. So inductive and deductive reasoning both are rather the parts of your theory. theory perspective. Now this one, the empirical generalization. That is what I was talking about. Empirical generalization doesn't mean the empirical result. Empirical generalization means from the empirical study, the result you got, you have to say that one, whether that result is generally applicable to all cases, everywhere, every time or not. That is what is known as generalization. Because you know, all the times we are saying that one, exceptions are not examples. This means what? Whenever you are doing any research and you are out giving the output, your output is coming to you. And you are saying that one, yes, this is my result and this is finite. And it is only applicable for my research and it is not applicable anywhere else. But that research is rather a kind of case study. Even in case studies, you know that one in laws, case studies are also considered as evidences for further verdicts. So that's why you have to go for some bit of generalization. So this is where we are talking about the hypothesis validation. In your research, you have the hypothesis and within the hypothesis, so whenever you are <coughs> generalizing the hypothesis or you are validating the hypothesis, you are trying to validate your result, that is empirical result. At the same time, you are trying to make some attempt or effort to make it much more holistic in nature so that that result more or less be fit or made him fit with the same type of research, with the same types of sample or same types of, uh, you can say, the control variables. This is known as empirical generalization. And lastly, that is the grounded theory. And I told you that one. So grounded theory, this one is rather um, a specific kind of theory developed in 1967 by uh, Arslan and Strauss and later has been uh, very much uh, enhanced by Kathy Charmaj and Corbyn or like that. So grounded theory is usually a kind of, or groundness, don't talk about theory, rather grounded approach of research, better you say. This is what grounded means, that is what you are starting from scratch. You are thinking that when no literature review is available and your research starts from zero and you can, you can, um, equate this one or there is a kind of so you can make the analogy with zero based budgeting system where you are always starting with zero and you are not thinking that one whether you got the profit or loss or like that no past experiences nothing you are starting afresh and grounded theory is also the same thing 
you do not have to consider whether literature is available for that particular idea or not. You are starting that one afresh and from the existing literature you are trying to find out whether the manifestation of that one is there in the text in the sublime order or subdued mode or rather this is there in a kind of vivid vividly described or rather these are there in the very sublime presence of that concept so in that case a lot of literature you have to study and from those literatures you have to dig out the very concept and its interrelationship with the different ideas and you have to develop some you can say that is the actions or rather the axioms the axioms and the memos as well as the categories as well as the varieties and the relationship so you are getting one idea and you are seeing that on how these are rather related with other concepts by this way you are seeing that one the very topic that you are dealing with that topic is related with lot of other things now you have to there is always a chance that uh, that is you may um, you may, you may uh, misguide yourself or rather you may lose your path but if you are um, you are you are you are structured enough meticulous enough you can keep that one within the very territory of your idea and you have to find uh, out or you have to uh, you have to make one plan that is where you will stop and from that perspective you can develop the memos you can develop the categories and you can say that one this particular idea that i am do, working with is having relationship with this one so once this is there so this idea can promote can enhance all the existing knowledge by this way so by this way you can develop the grounded theory but ground theory was rather been criticized a lot and specifically strauss as well as the whenever two fellows they started with this one and after a while they got apart it so they got apart and they developed their own models and at the same time uh, strauss developed a new idea of ground theory and then this ground theory is a kind of approach in qualitative research to find out or rather it helps you to develop a generalized theory so this is what the grounded theory is i'm not going to detail you the grounded theory because lot of literatures regarding grounded theory is there and even if you go to shodhanga and if you see uh, the different researches uh, you will see that one that is the grounded theory is given there and my own research is also on the basis of grounded theory and social capital so mm. that is what that is the relationship and the theory building perspective so this is how and then we are going for a kind of uh, logic of theory verification and this is given by adler and clark where he is saying that one that this is theoretical statement so we are having that one the hypothetical and then observational you see that one the and statement illustrative statement is there now see go for uh, go from that is bottom up approach or from bottom to top you will get that one so observational suppose one is doing research and he is saying that one respondent respondent a was lay leader in his charge at the time of his pre retirement interview after retirement he would continued he, he had continued as a volunteer in his charge and found other volunteer opportunities as well including help at hiv aids drop drop in center in a nearby hospital this is what you observed now you are making the hypothesis people who do volunteer work before retirement are more likely to do it after retirement than others a hypothesis now theory after retirement to the extent possible people will retain previous roles including non work roles 
because doing so enables them to maintain feelings of self-worth and avoid feelings of anxiety and depression. See, here you were saying that one, that is retirement is withdrawn, retirement is withdrawn, others are withdrawn. So this is what this becomes a generalized view. That is after retirement to the extent possible. And this is where the catch to the extent possible, most of the cases, people will retain previous role, including non-work roles, because doing so enables them to maintain feelings of self-worth, doing so, and avoid feelings of anxiety and depression. So, okay. See, you are getting this one, the third one, you are getting this one in your empirical research. Whenever you are making the hypothesis, you are doing that one. And in theory, you are rather making this one which covers all these two given there. And that's why this is a generalized view and it covers all the subcomponents and the characteristics, attributes, actions, activities involved in the subdivisions of it. This is what is known as the, this is what the Adler and class logic of theory verification. Now you see the second one. And this one is Mueller's Dix and Pika in 2007. The process of discovery was process of discovery. Then again, you see. And here you also see that one. This is from down to top or a bottom upward approach. Observational. One white student suggested a group paint a group paint themselves black, wear diapers and be black babies. So, okay, one student suggested that a group paint themselves black, wear diapers and be black babies. Now, empirical generalization, you are generalizing that one. You are rather making this one after getting this one, you are inferring that one in your empirical research and trying to be a bit general, generalized, or rather making this one much more generalized. Cross-racial dressings as celebrities in generally less offensive than cross-racial dressings in more generic ways. Be bad black babies. And that is what is generally less offensive than cross-racial dressings. And theoretical. White students use cross-racial Halloween costuming to subvert a system called racial inequality perceived to disadvantage them. Perceived to disadvantage them. And that is what the discovery you see. How from observation, then empirical generation, and now the theory is being generalized. Okay. And now this one, that is Wallace in the year 1971. He is a cyclical model of science theories. In our cases also, you can say that one. That is that we have the theories. Now, really, do we have the theories? We do not. know. Now we are starting with this one. So as because we do not have this one or we are rather not sure about that and whether we are having the theories or not, we are starting with that one, the logical deduction. Books are for use, so we are proposing that one. These are the laws of the theories. Logical deduction? No. Right now, the book is a very restricted terminology and getting obsolete terminology. Don't go for that one. Better you say that one, documents. People challenge. Documents? Why you are saying documents? Will you call that one digital document? I, I don't prefer digital document. Rather, you say digital assets, rather digital resources. So logical deduction, you are deducting. Now you are making the hypothesis, making the hypothesis. And then you are measuring that one with the help of the samples population. So with that one, you got observations and the statistical or verbal summarization. So, and then you are going for the empirical generalization. So from statistical, now here you see, even if you do empirical study or rather some bit of study going to the field, 
you all you must have to try to do this one the empirical generation and let me tell you what empirical generation is most of the cases i think all of you did some bit of project work or um, some bit of uh, you can say the uh, term papers or assigned jobs like that and whenever you did this one you will see people are writing those things in such a way uh, as because uh, uh, these are just the narrat narratives of uh, what they found it's not empirical generalization i will show you that on empirical generalization and then you are going for the creative leaps here comes the creative leaps you are adding the values you are trying to trying to make this one much more holistic one you are trying to include the aspects constraints there in in the society at the same time you are trying to eliminate all the noises there in at the same time you are trying to broaden this generalization in such a way so that this thing theory can cover all other Oh God. oh God! Yes. Oh no. Yes. So it can develop something new. Uh, regarding empirical generalization, let me show you something. Empirical generalization. Now, empirical generalization. I am just showing you one thing. Just see. Might be we are having mm, you understood that one, or rather it is my duty to tell you. And Manushesh. Now here you see, that is what uh, enable editing. So I am not, I didn't um, s see this one till day. So this is the first time I got that one from one of my scholar and uh, I'm rather showing you, obviously there are the problems. Now here you see. Yes. Now see, this is what now see this one. This is what table four distribution by documents, distribution of documents by type. Okay. Now, up to this, there is no such problem. It's okay. It's quite nice. Okay. Now, here you see. Go through it. Table 4. This one. Table 4. Table 4 illustrates document-wise document-wise publications document wise distribution of publications during the period of 10 years that is 10 to this the maximum is 1259 of publications were articles type document followed by review type document of publications conference types okay now, I am just deleting this one. Suppose these are not there. From this one, from this table, will it be rather any problem for anyone to understand that is article is the maximum, review is the second, and it is rather 87%, and review is 64.8%. One eight percent. So, if this is the thing, what is the utility of writing this one again here? When your table itself is saying something, the same thing, why are you 
just narrating the same data here you represented the data in tabular form here you were writing that one in a narrative form and you were writing that one the maximum these publications are article type and then followed by review type what is the utility of it so this one is nothing but this is not even this is not even the empiricism no empirical generalization is there now you can say that one why what is empirical generalization this could be like that one the table for illustrate document wise distribution of publications during the last 10 years the maximum publications are article types of documents because the or rather documents where the reason is or rather the reason or the author founds author finds the reason as now you are writing that one the empirical generation why this is so why this one is that these narratives these are not meant for just writing all these things these are for analyzing this one and this is rather the analysis part and in analysis you have to write why this is 87 percent and why uh, that is retracted eratum editorial is only eight where is the problem and if you want to understand that one you may have to talk with those persons also that is why such type of things are coming so this is known as empirical generalization so this is not at all something like the analysis so this is what i was rather uh, trying to show you okay so empirical generalization so empirical generalization is something where you have to state that one that is what you are getting this is fine you are showing that one in the tables in the tables or rather you can write that one in represent that one in any kind of graphs pie charts xyz but you have to say why these results are coming and how these results are coming and what are even if you do not get the real point you have to infer and that is where your research is you have to say your intuition because articles are rather or journals are the primary vehicles of communication and that's for why journal being the primary vehicle of communication or rather the primary primary sources of information so any information that are being generated is rather first published in the and that's for why this is there but review should come second and why reviews are there because right now the reviews are been very much given importances because book reviews or any kind of reviews these are also giving some kind of new nascent information who are the reviewers they are giving their inputs which inputs are not the, the inputs which are not given by the authors themselves but by the reviewers so there is a kind of collective idea assimilation or idea conglomeration and that's why review is coming second so you have to generalize that one in that line not not just narrating that one and that is what the more you will be able to go for that generalization, you will have your creative leaps, creative leaps, and ultimately one day you may also be regarded just like Ranganath. You can develop theories. No one knows what potencies you do have, and that is what. And and this particular lecture concludes here with this very. abstraction so say increasingly more on abstract so same thing you see this one observation this is the first reality then you concept then you see the propositions and then you will got the theories i i told you that one in the previous day observation that is the realism you are seeing from there you are going for developing the concept and the from once you are making the propositions or rather the postulates from postulates we are developing the theory and now some lighter moments that is see let me um, write okay god sorry sorry uh, okay um, just i will get that one yes now from the beginning one two three four five six seven eight nine 
Okay, now see. A fact without a theory is like a ship without a sail, is like a boat without a rudder, is like a kite without a tail. A fact without a theory is like a ship without a sail, is like a boat without a rudder, is like a kite without a tail. A fact without a figure is a tragic final act. But one thing worse in this universe is a theory without a fact. So, I think you understood the very song and I did the same thing, okay, uh, like the previous days. So, have you got that one? That is the song also, and you know, with this thing, you can say that one. That is the basic purpose of this one is over. So, next day, next day, or rather. Uh, I can say something now. So, enter screen. Okay, enter screen share. Now I must not close the browser. Okay. Now I am having this one. So this is the second unit we are having. So next day we will be going with this one. The next day means so we are having the time, you know, we are having time. So qualitative. So I already told you all these things. So interpretive, basic, applied, laboratory field, cross-section, longitudinal. So I will go for these things only. That is cross-section, longitudinal, participation, observation, and other things are also should be here. We have to go for that one. That is the ethnography, E-T-H-N-O-Z-R-A-P-H-Y. Ethnography, then we have to go for the participant observation, non participant observation, then focus study. Study. So, this thing will cover the next day. So, now It's okay, over, and if you are having any issues, problems like that, you can ask me, else I'll stop. Sir. Hmm? Sir, I want to discuss any, I mean, I'm going to ask you to ask me, I'm going to ask you to present me, I'm going to ask you to ask so, if you have an article, article basically, you have an article basically. 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 अच्छा इधर देखा जाता है चीज़ ऐ टा आर्टिकल टा है नाउ सी दिस इज़ व्हाट दिस इज़ वन आर्टिकल बाय सी रॉकल स्ट्रेड जस्ट वन आर्टिकल ओके अम्म जस्ट देखा चाहिए आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू नाउ सी 
Schrader is a catalog librarian in Ohio State University Library, Columbus. And now you see here the categories of match. The table is there. Nowhere he analyzed that one in that sense. Okay. The research materials. Now see here. This one. So now the table itself is there and within the table, so he is writing the, she is writing, she is the lady, she is writing the research questions, row counts, and then you see, here you see this one. The results of the comparisons so see each other and the matching of both titles yielded some patterns as well as several differences. As noted in the previous section, the total number of keywords, so he's writing, and the total number is so the average number is while the average number per title. Word. However, there is a stark, stark contrast between this one, the maximum number of this thing. And you see, present in that one and no abbreviations. So summarizes that one and how many keywords did not match. One explanation, see here is the important thing. One explanation for the large percentage of terms not covered by cataloger assigned LCH is that LCH has not kept up with current research. This issue of maintenance has been a recurrent criticism of LCH, LCSH over years. And you are talking about this one, a reference. And this is what you see. She is showing the reference. So while you are describing that one, you are saying that one, that is why it is not true or rather why this result is coming. And then if she is substantiating this one with the documentary proof also. And then LCH is typically established from the evidence of a new topic found in the piece in hand. That is the form, that is form literary world. This is usually a monograph in hand since articles and chapters are generally not cataloged. 16. So, got the idea? That is what you have to you have to write the analysis, empirical generalization. Even if you are saying that one, substantiate that one with others. Yes, why your result is coming like that, or rather, what is the what is the reason behind it? That is most important. ट्रेडिशनल ध्यान धारणा सब बिल मैं यकम धरण लेखा क्यों पचंद करा परिष्कार केयारलिसमारीषण आपत्ति आज केयारलिस जार्नल सम्पर्क से खूब बस कथा बोलते चाहिए কিন্তু একটা না একটা চেক অ্যান্ড ব্যালেন্স তৈরি হয়েছে লোকে যেমন ইচ্ছে তেমন করতে পারছে না যা মনে হলো লিখে ফেললাম সেরকমটা এখন করতে পারছে না এই কিছু ডেটা আর এখন তো ডেটা পাওয়া অনেক বেশি সুবিধে প্রচুর প্রচুর জায়গা আছে বিশেষত রিপোজিটারিজ এবং বিভিন্ন ডেটা সেটস পাওয়া যাচ্ছে अमेरिकान डेटा सेट्स मालेशियान डेटा सेट्स सारा पृथ्वी डेटा सेट्स एक जगह पाव जाए फले आर्टिकल स्टैटिस्टिकाली रिप्रेजेंट करा एम कि बड़ो व्यापार ही ना जार ओब सायसर एक्सेस आज जार स्कोपास एक्सेस आज से ही जगह प्रैक्टिकाली स्पीकिंग अनेक डेटा से नहीं से तार मत करते एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स अफ पैराफ्रेजिंग टुल्स आर एवेलेबल यू हाव द ग्रामारलि यू हाव दैट वन जिंजार लट अफ अदार थिंगस आर देर यू कैन गो फर द पैराफ्रेजिंग बाट आल्टिमेटली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग दिज आर मेकिंग द इंटर दर इज इनफरमेशन ओवरलोड एंड द डुप्लीकेशन इज अल्सो देयर सो युप्लीकेशन पार्सपेक्टिव जी बाचते हैं जो है तो फले विभिन्न जार्नलगुलो पर्त ताराओ बार बार कर तुम जेटा करो जे जगहटा के देखा से ही जगहटार रिप्रेजेंटेशन बुझते असुविधा नहीं तुम्हारे तो टेबिले ही बोला है तुम से आर बोलो तुम्हें न्यारेट कर ठीक है क्योंकि न्यारेट कराते तुम्हार कैन रेजाल्ट आल तर कारण तो बोलो किचू हम बोलो कि जो ये और कनक्लूशन तुम तुम्हार एनालिसिस दाओ ये नाउ टू थिंगस आर देर एखे जो ये बीमार सजेस्ट करी रेफार कर कैन ए रखम है आगे कारा कर सरकम भाव 
কিন্তু কনক্লুশনে বা ফাইন্ডিংসে যখন আমি বলবো তখন কিন্তু আমি আমার ট্যাসিট দিয়ে আমি আমার পার্সপেক্ট থেকে থেকে কিছু কথা বলতেই পারি কারণ ওটা আমার কনক্লুশন আমি ওটা ভেবেছি এটাতে ভাবার কোনো কারণ নেই যে আমার কনক্লুশন বা আমার যে জায়গাতে সেটাকে আমাকে সাবস্টেন্সিয়েট করতে হবে আমার ইন্টারপ্রিটেশনটা না নলেজ ডেভেলপমেন্ট কিন্তু এভাবেই হয় দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট ইউ বেটার কাম আপ উইথ ইউর আইডিয়াজ অর উইথ ইউর আইডিয়াজ এইবার কেউ চ্যালেঞ্জ করে যে সামান চ্যালেঞ্জ দ্যাট ওয়ান ওয়ান্স চ্যালেঞ্জ ওকে দেন সো নিউ থিং উইল কাম আপ অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ইউ থট ইন দ্যাট পার্টিকুলার টাইম মাইড বি নট feasible or might not be accepted or acceptable but still that is a valid thing that is someone stated that one and it is a recorded knowledge it's there and now some other people are refuting that one that's that's the that's the process of knowledge generation amar je shobta shotti hotei hobe ebong ami tar jonno kono idea conceive korbo na ba bolbo na eta kintu noy and that is the basic perspective of research ei kotha gulo na bolle এখন যা দেখা যাচ্ছে মানে এই কাজগুলো খুব অসম্পূর্ণ কাজ এই গোটা কাজগুলো কেন এত চারিদিকে এই আর্টিকেলগুলো নিয়ে এখন একটা আর্টিকেল ছাপতে চায় না বা এই ধরনের কোনো বিকজ দ্য মেথোডোলজি ইটস সেলফ ইজ নট ক্লিয়ার মেথোডোলজি কি করতে হবে কোন জায়গায় এইটা ক্লিয়ার নয় অ্যান্ড দ্যাট ইউ পিপল মাস্ট ডু ইট দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট দ্যাট ইজ এই জায়গা থেকে শুরু করা যাতে ফিউচারে আমি যখন কাজ করব ইচ অ্যান্ড এভরি লাইন ইউ উইল রাইট ইন ইউর রিসার্চ মাস্ট বি সাবস্টেন্সিয়েটেড বাই হ্যালো হ্যাঁ 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 তো so you have to do this one and that is the important thing ei gulo ke ekhon theke so ami shei jonno bolchi ki ei amader prothom jara research korche those who are research korche ba research korte agrohi tader uchit prothomei besh kichu bhalo ingreji article dekha ebar bhalo ingreji article kothay taylor and francis er kichu article john willer article rutledge er article জ্যাসিস্টের আর্টিকেল আমাদের আর্টিকেল নয় প্রথম কাজ হচ্ছে ওদের আর্টিকেলগুলো দেখা যে সাবজেক্টে ইন্টারেস্ট আছে কিছু আর্টিকেল ডাউনলোড করা কিছু আর্টিকেল পড়া প্যাটার্নটাকে বোঝা যে ইম্প এই মুহূর্তের নলেজ ডোমেইন মানে নলেজটা কোথায় যাচ্ছে আমাদের মধ্যে একটা জার্নালতে ভালো সেটা আমরা দেখেছি সেটা হচ্ছে অ্যালিস অ্যালিস মানে হচ্ছে আমাদের নিসকেয়ারের জার্নাল কিন্তু এস আর ইউল এস এরও এডিটোরিয়াল প্রসেসটাতে একটু গন্ডগোলের আছে ইয়াস লিক বুলেট সাম হাও ইউজ এ স্নব বাট হাও ওয়ার ইউ ক্যান ডু দিস থিং অলসো আমাদের মুশকিল হচ্ছে যে আমাদের কিন্তু ইনোভেটিভ আইডিয়াস অ্যান্ড অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম ক্রস ডিসিপ্লিনারি মাল্টি ডিসিপ্লিনারি ইন্টার ডিসিপ্লিনারি রিসার্চ যদি বলতে হয় এবং তার আইডিয়া যদি ভাবতে হয় তাহলে একটু বিদেশি জার্নালগুলো দেখা আমি বলছি না ওদেরকে নকল করতে হবে ওদের করতে হবে প্যাটার্নটা জানা যে আজকের দিনের কোথায় আমরা আছি কোথায় ওরা আছে কিভাবে লিখছে দ্য প্যাটার্ন অফ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দ্য ম্যানিফেস্টেশন অফ দ্য আর্টিকুলেশন অ্যান্ড দ্য অ্যারেঞ্জমেন্ট প্যাটার্ন আমাদের যেরকম একটা আছে যে প্রথমে ওয়ান ইন্ট্রোডাকশান এক দুই তিন চার এরকম করে করে সব আর্টিকেলই মোটামুটি একটা টিপিক্যাল দেখতে ওদের আর্টিকেলগুলো কিন্তু ঠিক সেরকম নয় আর এই আর্টিকেলগুলোর মধ্যে ওরা সব সময়তে উই অথার্স সো দে আর ইউজিং দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্সন ইন দ্যাট ওয়ে দে আর নট অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইউজিং দ্যাট মাচ অফ প্যাসিভ ভয়েসেস অলসো দে আর রাইটিং দ্যাট ওয়ান ইন দ্য অ্যাক্টিভ ভয়েসেস সো এই পার্সপেকটিভগুলো যেন মাথায় থাকে রিসার্চ মেথোলজির কাজ কিন্তু খানিকটা এটাই শেখার কারণ কাজগুলো কাজ হচ্ছে শেখানোর কারণগুলো চেই যে এই লেখার সময়টা কিন্তু এইগুলো যেন মাথায় আসে যে আমি আমার প্রেজেন্টেশনটা আমি এমনটাই ভাবে করতে চাই যাতে দা মি অফ আই অর রাজার আমার যে ভেতরের আমি তার ম্যানিফেস্টেশনটা যেন লেখাতে দেখা যায় বা তার আমার আমার প্রেজেন্স আমার ওয়ার্কে যাতে বোঝা যায় এটা হচ্ছে ইম্পর্টেন্ট দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট আই এম ট্রাই টু সে ইজ ইট ক্লিয়ার বোঝা গেল কি বললাম যতই তুই বল যে অন্যের ইংরেজি শুনে তুই তোর ওই টুপিওয়ালা ছবি দিবি 
ইংরেজি লেখা স্টাইল লেখে কিন্তু ওসব দিয়ে কোনো লাভ নেই আর সবচেয়ে বড় ব্যাপার যে লেখা লেখি বন্ধ করলে হবে না এই করোনা পিরিয়ডে তোরা কি করিস এখন বসে বসে সারা দিন তো কাজ কিছু নেই করিস কি সপ্তাহে দুদিন কি তিন দিন চারটে লেকচার হয় বাকি সময়টা কি করিস আর্টিকেল টার্টিকেল গুলো লেখা শুরু করেছিস একটা বসে না থেকে এই সময়তে দু একটা আর্টিকেল রেডি করার চেষ্টা কোন থিমের ওপরে যেটা ভালো লাগে যে জায়গাটা নিজের ড্রব্যাক্স আছে মানে নিজের ড্রব্যাক্স স্ট্রেংথ আছে যে জায়গাটাকে মনে হয় যে জায়গাটা করলে ভালো সেই জায়গাগুলো তৈরি করলেই তো হয় শুধু অযথা সময় নষ্ট না আমি একটা জিনিস বলি যে এখন তো বিবলিওমেট্রিক্স টা ঠিক সেভাবে ধরে না এখন লোকে কাজ করছে অল্পমেট্রিক্স এর উপরে ঠিক আছে এই অল্ট মেট্রিক্স এর উপরেতে কাজ করছে একটু মানে অল্টারনেটিভ মেট্রিক্স যে মেট্রিক্সটাতে শুধু বই বা এই ধরনের নয় সেই জায়গা এবার বিব্লিও মেট্রিক্সের কাজটাতে সবচেয়ে বড় মুশকিল হচ্ছে যে আমি অথার কে সবচেয়ে র্যাঙ্কে প্রথম তা দেখালাম কোন কান্ট্রি থেকে সবচেয়ে বেশি পাবলিশ হচ্ছে এখন না এগুলো সব স্কোপাস ওয়েব অফ সায়েন্সেই পাওয়া যায় এগুলো আর এখন ক্যালকুলেশন করে ওই পেছনের রেফারেন্স থেকে আর কেউ বের করে না মানে এটা হচ্ছে বোকার কাজ এবং আজকে আমি যদি বিভিন্ন জায়গায় যাই বিভিন্ন রিপোজিটারিতে আমি ওখান থেকে ইজি ডাউনলোড করে নিতে পারি ওই যে এক্সপোর্ট সাইটেশন আগের দিন দেখালাম সব সাইটেশন ডাউনলোড করা যায় আর তারপরে কাজটা করা ফলে এখন এই জিনিসগুলো অনেক মানে চেঞ্জ হচ্ছে তার ফলে এখন আমরা কি করতে পারি দ্যাট ইজ কিউওয়ার্ড ম্যাপিং ক্লাস্টারিং Uh, that is author, one particular author who is writing on how many different subjects. Amade Livy Science at the actor research to actor Samaya me dekhe chila mamar SREL at the actor article at the other citation analysis at the other side of the actor Samaya kach kore chila me bong amar master's dissertation and citation analysis at the other side of the actor দেখেছিলাম যে আমাদের দেশে সবচেয়ে বেশি আমাদের দেশে কেন সারা পৃথিবীতেই লাইব্রেরি সায়েন্স লিটারেচারেতে দেখা যাচ্ছে যে লাইব্রেরিয়ানরা লাইব্রেরি ফ্যাকাল্টি থেকে অনেক বেশি অ্যাক্টিভ তারা লেখে বেশি এই যে মাত্র যে স্ট্রেডারের স্টাডিটা দেখালাম ভদ্র ভদ্রমহিলা হচ্ছে না একটা ক্যাটালগ ডিভিশনের লাইব্রেরিয়ান ক্যাটালগার তো এইটা হচ্ছে প্যাটার্ন এবার আমাকে সেটা জায়গা থেকে একটু উঠতে হবে ফলে বিবলিওমেট্রিক্সের থেকে একটু সাইন্টোমেট্রিক্স তার থেকে একটু অল্টমেট্রিক্স অল্টমেট্রিক্সে গেলে পরে আমার মনে হয় যে সেটা ভালো এ ভেরি রিসেন্টলি শিব শঙ্কর জানা আর অমিত নাথের একটা আর্টিকেল বেরিয়েছে ইয়েতে স্প্রিঞ্জারে আচ্ছা আমি দেখাচ্ছি এটা কোথায় বেরিয়েছে তা থেকে বোঝা যাবে যে প্রাসঙ্গিকতা যে একদম নেই সেটা নয় সেটা হচ্ছে डिजिटल कमर्स कॉविड रिसार्च अनेक गुलन ये অমিত আর ওর লেখা এই লাইব্রেরি সাইড দ্য ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ নেভরাস্কা লিঙ্কয়েন সেখানে ওরা একটা বের করেছে বিবলিওমেট্রিক অ্যানালিসিস অফ অ্যানালস অফ লাইব্রেরি অ্যান্ড ইনফরমেশন স্টাডিস ঠিক আছে এটা একটা বের করেছে এটা কবের এটা হচ্ছে দু হাজার কুড়ির জানুয়ারি তার ফলে এখনও বিবলিওমেট্রিক্সের উপরে আর্টিকেল বেরোচ্ছে বেরোচ্ছে না তা না এইটাতে এখান থেকে একটা এবার দ্বিতীয় আরেকটা একদম নতুন যেটা দেখলাম that is amit nath and shibu now see mapping global performance on open access gis research a scientometric study okay oi oi jaygai beri koreche now you see covid 
now yes now see this is the last one a scientometric review of global altmetric research by amit nath and shiv shankar jana you know shiv shankar jana shiv shibu is rather the um, associate professor in kollan university and amit is his scholar so now you see this one library and library and technology science and technology libraries and they publish that one there and the scientific so relevance is obviously there so you cannot say that one might be in our cases in india everything is rather going with a very slow pace so you cannot get that one but if you are interested with that one go through all these literatures what our 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 scholars our teachers are doing and then you you just uh revise your so revise your revise your article or rather restructure your article modify remodify your article in the way uh, that can be presentable for today's time so see this one the keywords are there alternative method matrix so so some scopus they did this one okay so this is what so you can do this thing স্বাগতার ইন্টারেস্ট কি কোন সাবজেক্ট তোর ইন্টারেস্ট স্যার ইনফরমেশন লিটারেসি ও ইনফরমেশন লিটারেসি এটাই ইন্টারেস্ট সারা জীবনের ইন্টারেস্ট এটাই না রিসেন্ট হয়েছে না রিসেন্ট মানে लास्ट 2 বছর হবে আসলে लास्ट 2 বছর ইনফরমেশন লিটারেসি ইনফরমেশন লিটারেসি নিয়ে কি কি কাজ করেছিস স্যার কোন কাজই করিনি ঠিক আছে